गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड एंड योर स्टडी इज गोइंग ऑन वेरी वेल सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन दैट इज सब्सटेंसेज इन कॉमन यूज सो अगेन दिस इज थियोरटिकल चैप्टर एंड दिस इज इजी ऑल्सो इन दिस चैप्टर we are going to discuss important salts in day to day life in important salt we will discuss about sodium chloride that is nacl that we use in our day to day life in in the food second we will use baking soda so that is sodium bicarbonate and washing soda sodium carbonate then we will see reactive substances and some chemical substances in day to day life right so this one can you recall this is omitted from your textbook and this we classify this is also omitted so directly we have to start from important salts in daily life <coughs> right so if you want to read the answer of these all questions so i have written here okay so the first topic is can you tell what is salt so what is salt so salt is first of all salt salt is ionic compounds in which they not contain H plus ions and OH minus ions. It means in salt you cannot find you cannot find H plus ions and OH minus ions. But there will be only one kind of cation and anion are called simple salt. If there is only one kind of cation. what is cation so cation means if on any atoms there is positive charge then that is called cation and if there is negative charge on the atom it is called anions right for example sodium sulfate potash potassium phosphate phosphate calcium chloride these all are the example of salts okay inorganic substances occur naturally in the form of salts rather than acids or bases inorganic substances inorganic substances do not contain carbon in in case of organic substances inorganic substances inorganic substances do not contain carbon atoms for example sodium chloride sodium sulfate potassium phosphate calcium chloride these all are example of inorganic substances right about 80 million tons of salts are added every year to sea water just think the amount 80 million tons of salts are added every year to sea water see this is very uh, big very huge amount therefore the sea is said to be rich source of salt the sea is the rich source of salts in fact the sea is a rich source of several salts of various elements in the sea there are various types of salts of various different elements such as salt of chlorine sodium magnesium like we can say sodium chloride magnesium chloride potassium chloride or potassium phosphate calcium chloride calcium sulfate or magnesium bromide etc However 
we also use other salts apart from this in day to day life right apart from this salt of chlorine sodium magnesium potassium apart from these element we also use some different salt in our day to day life right again this try this uh, try this is omitted but if you want to read you can read i have filled the table okay like like table salt it is a neutral salt why this is neutral because the ph value is 7 we know that if the ph of solution is 7 that will be neutral if the ph of any solution is less than 7 then that will be acidic and if the ph is more than 7 that will be basic basic right so example of neutral salt is table salt soap you can see you tell me one thing if i say soap soap is acidic in nature or basic in nature so since you can see soap is pH value is thirteen, so we can say this is basic in nature or alkaline in nature because the pH is more than seven, that is thirteen. So soap is is a uh, basic in nature or alkaline in nature. Washing soda. This I am explaining you. The reason is on the next page there is. Can you recall? So that's why I am explaining this one. Washing soda. That is pH is nine. So if pH is nine, this nine is more than seven. So that's why this is again alkaline. Baking soda pH is eight point five. Again, this is more than seven. So again, this is alkaline in nature. If I say baking powder, pH is nine. So again, this is alkaline in nature. Example of Acidic solution, we can say hydrochloric acid. pH will be less than seven since they are acid in nature, like uh, citric acid. They are also in acidic in nature, right? So, can you tell what is the strip shown below? What is this? This is pH color chart. This is pH pH color chart, right? So with the pH color chart, on the basis of color developed in the solution after adding universal indicator, we can tell the given solution is acidic, basic, or neutral, right? How? What is it used for? So determining deter, determining pH of solution. See, I've written here. If pH is pH is less than seven and greater than or equal to zero, then this solution will be acidic. If pH is equal to seven, then that solution will be neutral. If pH pH value is less than or equal to fourteen, that will be basic. Or greater than seven, that is basic. How it is determined whether a substance is acidic, basic, or neutral? So. If you want to check given substances in is acidic or basic or or neutral, so first of all you have to make the solution of the substance, and in that sub that solution you have to uh, add few drop of universal indicator, and you have to match the color. If color produces yellow, it means that solution will be. The pH will be six, and six is less than seven. This six is less than seven, so the solution will be acidic. So we have seen in the previous lesson that a salt is a neutral when its pH value is less than seven. So whatever I have explained you, that is written here. If you want to read, you can read. Now your next salt is 
sodium chloride that is table salt that we use in our home so table salt or common salt which gives a salty taste to food it is most used of all salts its chemical name is sodium chloride that is nacl chemical name is nacl sodium chloride sodium chloride is formed by a neutralization reaction so sodium because sodium chloride is a neutral salt so we know that when a strong acid and a strong base reacts to form react to uh, to form salt then that salt will be neutral okay if i ask from you if a strong acid and big base is reacting to form salt a strong acid a strong acid a strong acid plus big base big base then salt will be see this is a strong acid this is big base it means that there will be strong acid will be more effective so in this step salt the salt which we which will be formed after reacting strong acid and big base the nature of the salt will be acidic and similarly big acid and a strong base in that case the salt will be basic in nature understood <coughs> we have already seen that this is a neutral salt and the that the ph value of its aqueous solution is 7 what is aqueous solution it means if you dissolve sodium chloride in the water then aqueous solution of sodium chloride will be formed now some properties of properties and uses common salt this is visible to you yes this is visible for you properties and uses common salt is a colorless and crystalline ionic compounds compound there is no water of crystallization in its crystallization structure there is no water of crystallization right it is a neutral salt salty in taste third one third third property is this compound is used for the preparation of salt like sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate sodium carbonate is the washing soda and sodium bicarbonate is baking soda when an electric current is passed through a saturated saturated uh, solution of sodium chloride that is saturated solution of sodium chloride that is called brine what is saturated solution of sodium chloride for example i will uh, i will explain with uh, this this line this line with the help of example suppose there is a beaker there is a beaker right and there is 100 ml 100 ml water and this 100 ml water have capacity to dissolve 20 g nacl water is 100 ml and this water have capacity maximum capacity to dissolve 20 g sodium chloride that is 20 g salt and if there is 20 g sodium chloride is dissolved in this 100 ml water then this solution is called saturated solution of sodium chloride if there is less than say if there is 15 g sodium chloride dissolved in this water then that then that solution will be we can say unsaturated solution of sodium chloride if there is more than 20 gram sodium chloride see this there is 30 gram 30 gram 
salt is dissolved in this solution in this water 100 ml water then this solution will be called super saturated solution of sodium chloride so i gave you three concepts saturated solution unsaturated solution and super saturated solution okay so now come to the next point it is electrolyzed and hydrogen gas is released at the cathode it means if you connect a electrode two electrodes in this solution this saturated solution of sodium chloride and if you pass electric current this is like this one this is positive terminal this is negative terminal since this is positive terminal so this is this anode will be called anode and since this anode is connected to the negative terminal so this this will be called cathode so on the cathode chlorine gas will be formed if you electrolyzed <coughs> saturated saturated sodium sodium uh, saturated solution of sodium chloride so uh, chlorine gas will be formed on the anode here so not here chlorine gas will be formed on the anode and hydrogen gas will be formed on the cathode right so this is written here <coughs> sodium chloride it is nacl react with water to form sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide chlorine gas is at anode and hydrogen gas is cathode this is the symbol of gas gas right when salt is heated to a high temperature about 800 degrees celsius it's melt melt melts okay this is called fused state of salt if you heat the salt at the at 800 degrees celsius then they will they will melt and melt salt is called fused state of the salt when fused salt is electrolyzed and if you pass if you pass electricity in the fused state chlorine gas is released at the anode again same thing anode and liquid sodium here the, some uh, one thing is different no chlorine gas is released at the cathode and liquid sodium metal and liquid this is different liquid sodium metal at the cathode right so do you know if you want to read you can read next next salt is sodium bicarbonate this remember you remember this one sodium bicarbonate is also called baking soda sodium bicarbonate is also called baking soda that we use in our day to day life and baking soda the chemical formula is or molecular formula is nahco3 this is sodium hco3 means bicarbonate or we can say sodium hydrogen carbonate but we generally say sodium bicarbonate or baking soda in ba common name we can say sodium baking soda understood <coughs> so your mother brings cake on your birthday or makes it at home she also makes crisps bhaji have you ever asked your mother what makes the cake porous or the bhaji crisps you asked from your mother because they add baking soda in that bhaji and other food stuff right so you read this one now properties and uses <coughs> sodium bicarbonate react with moist litmus paper sodium bicarbonate reacts with moist litmus paper and red litmus paper blue litmus which means that it is basic in nature it means if sodium bicarbonate 
if you make a solution of sodium bicarbonate how you will make solution of sodium carbonate take one uh, some water in a beaker or a glass add some baking soda in this solution in this water so the solution their solution will be formed and add and bring a blue litmus paper or we can say take a blue litmus paper blue and take a red litmus paper add one drop on blue litmus paper and add one or two drop or two drop of on the red litmus paper so red will turns blue on blue litmus paper there is no any effect the color will be as it is that is blue but red will turns into blue it means the nature of sodium bicarbonate is basic in nature because if red litmus paper turns in, into blue it means that solution is basic and if this blue litmus paper turns into red then this solution will be called acidic solution acidic in nature okay it is used to make bread cake dhokla so in these all food stuff like bread cake and dhokla we use sodium bicarbonate you can ask your mother being basic in nature it is used to reduce acidity in stomach because sodium bicarbonate is acidic in nature so if you have acidity in your stomach then you can use bread cake dhokla no problem at all the reason is inside the bread there is sodium bicarbonate that is basic in nature if you eat cake during the acidity then there will be no any problem because again inside the cake there is sodium bicarbonate is there so that is harmless okay being basic in nature ah, okay sodium bicarbonate is used to make the active substance co2 in the fire extinguisher it means sodium bicarbonate is also used in the fire extinguisher right i will tell you more detail in coming coming part coming topic because in this chapter there is also we have to study about fire extinguisher or i think in the probably in the previous lecture sorry no not in this lecture in the previous lecture you can see here you can see here we have already studied now baking bleaching powder bleaching powder means calcium hydroxychloride calcium oxy chloride calcium oxy chloride so try this take a piece of colored cloth put some saturated solution of bleaching powder saturated solutions means i have explained you in the previous here uh here i have explained you what is saturated in the pre previous here i have explained you what is saturated solution so put some saturated solution of bleaching powder on a small part of part and observe so if you add some drop of saturated solution of bleaching powder on color colored clothes color will be d color okay what change so i will show in the lab also because in the lab there is bleaching powder is there but your dress will be d color if i add the bleaching powder on your dress then your dress will be d colored so i cannot use but i will give you example on some different clothes okay what change take place in the color of the clothes 
so the color will be the color of the clothes will be become white practically you can i can perform in the laboratory because you know students in our lab school lab there are many 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 chemicals are present even even in the physics lab or even in the chemistry lab there is a lot of chemicals are there almost all the chemicals are present in our physics and chemistry lab in our school tap water has a typical strong odor in rainy season we all know have you experienced it so i have experienced it i don't know about you but you can observe observe a strong odor in the rainy season what in the swimming pool water in swimming pool also has a same odor why this is the uh, from where this odor came due to the formation of chlorine gas this is the order of chlorine gas chlorine gas it is the order of chlorine gas right used to destroy the microbes in water so always remember chlorine gas is used to destroy microbes in the water chlorine gas is a strong oxidizing agent and therefore it has a strong disinfecting as well as bleaching action chlorine chlorine is inconvenient to handle because of its gaseous state we know that chlorine forms in the gaseous state so it is some difficult to handle because it is found in the gaseous state instead a solid bleaching powder which has a if same effect is more convenient to use so of course if chlorine is in the form of solid so that will be more convenient to use or for use bleaching powder undergoes slow decomposition due to carbon dioxide in air we know that in our is our is atmosphere there is many gases are present one of the gases carbon dioxide is also there and chlorine gas is released so remember when calcium oxychloride or this is it, simply we can say when bleaching powder react with carbon dioxide it's react calcium carbonate plus chlorine gas plus chlorine gas and this if this chlorine gas reacts from calcium hydroxide if this chlorine gas which is formed after reaction calcium oxychloride bleaching powder to cal uh, carbon dioxide if uh, i repeat if calcium oxychloride reacts from carbon dioxide that is co2 which is present in the atmosphere calcium carbonate plus chlorine gas is formed and bleaching powder is obtained by the reaction of chlorine gas with shaked lime so how you how you can how we can get bleaching powder so if you want to make bleaching powder then you have to react chlorine gas this chlorine gas to shaked lime that is calcium hydroxide if calcium hydroxide react from chlorine gas it forms calcium oxychloride plus h2o that is water okay so this uh, if this is i think this was visible or not now this is visible but i repeat if calcium hydroxide react with chlorine gas it forms calcium oxychloride that is this is bleaching powder plus h2 water find out this is omitted but if you want to read answer i have written here from the pencil properties and uses ble uh, bleaching powder is a yellowish white colored solid substance Re remember the color of bleaching powder is yellowish white colored solid substance its chemical name is calcium oxychloride it has a strong odor of chlorine gas it is used for disinfection of drinking water 
एट एट द वॉटर एट द वॉटर वर्क्स एंड द वॉटर इन द स्विंग पूल आई थिंक हियर ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर एट द वॉटर वर्क्स आई थिंक जस्ट अ सेकेंड ओके इट इट यूज फॉर दिस इन्फेक्शन ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर एट द वॉटर वर्क्स एंड वॉटर इन द स्विंग पूल राइट इट इज यूज फॉर ब्लीचिंग ऑफ क्लोथ it is used for disinfection by road site and garbage site dilute sulfuric acid and dilute hydrochloric acid that is hcl dilute sulfuric acid h2so4 dilute hydrochloric acid that is hcl reacts rapidly with bleaching powder see this is sulfuric acid so uh, dilute dilutes dil dil dot means dilute sulfuric acid reacts completely react from calcium oxychloride from bleach, that is bleaching powder to form chlorine gas this is our main focus so if you react sulfuric acid to bleaching powder then chlorine gas will be formed apart from chlorine gas calcium sulfate and water is also formed calcium hyd uh, oxychloride reacts slowly with carbon dioxide so calcium hydro uh, calcium oxychloride the bleaching powder reacts slowly with carbon dioxide to form calcium carbonate and chlorine gas next washing soda this is the chemical formula of washing soda that is na2co3 h2 again try this take a sample of water from a bell or a bore bell in a beaker add some soap to it and stir then take another sample and add one spoon of washing soda and stir then add some soap and stir again observe the change that you that take place which change changes did occur why do they occur simply so you have to take two sample of water there is water you have to take the water from bell or bore bell there is one another beaker there is water is present in the beaker add some soap to it and stir you have to add soap in the first beaker this beaker number 1 this beaker number 2 right and stir this one then take another sample another tank uh, other another sample i have taken here in beaker number 2 add one is one spoon full of washing soda so first of all we have to add here washing soda that is that is here we are adding in the second beaker washing soda that is na2co3h2o we are adding in the second add one is one full of washing soda and stir then add some soap and stir again and again we have to add here soap so in this beaker there is only bear bowl uh, bore bell or bell water and soap but in this beaker there is water plus uh, washing soda and soap right so its answer is written here the hard water from the bell or bore bell becomes soft on adding washing soda so in this case since you have added washing soda uh, soda in the beaker number 2 so they will water becomes soft on adding washing soda they this water will become soft on adding wa uh, washing soda and we come to know this from the leather formed on it on in this what in this water leather will form because the hardness which was present in the water bore will what uh, bore will wait uh, water 
they have been removed after adding washing soda so in this foam or leather bill form the hardness of water is due to the presence of chloride and sulfate of calcium and magnesium in it remember this is this is line is very important the hardness of water is due to the presence of chloride and sulfate of calcium and magnesium in it due to the presence of chloride and sulfate of calcium it means the hardness of water is due to the presence of chloride of chloride like we can say calcium chloride that is CaCl2 that is chloride of calcium here chloride of calcium or we can say calcium sulfate CaSO4 we can say sulfate sulfate of calcium or we can write magnesium MgCl2 we can say this is the chloride of magnesium right the same thing is written here the hardness of water is due to the presence of chloride and sulfate of calcium chloride of calcium sulfate of calcium or similarly chloride of magnesium and sulfate of magnesium right sodium carbonate is added to it to soften such water and make it so to make it it suitable for use but if you add washing soda in the hard water hard water in the sense if that water is after uh, one more thing how you can determine determine whether the water is soft and hard how you can identify in the water there is calcium chloride salt of salt of calcium or salt of magnesium or salt of sulfate is present in the water or not so if you have to add soap if there is leather if there is leather is forming in the water it means that the water is soft but if after adding soap in the water there is no leather it means the water is hard it means there is sulfate or chlorine of calcium or magnesium are present in the water the reaction with sodium carbonate causes the formation of insoluble carbonate salt of magnesium and calcium see magnesium chloride this is present in the water because they are hard water if you add sodium carbonate if you add sodium carbonate here i am added here sodium carbonate uh, remove this h h2 if you add sodium carbonate so what happened magnesium chloride ma magnesium carbonate is formed so here this water was also hard hard water but if you add here sodium carbonate so here precipitate of magnesium carbonate is formed precipitate this direction indicates this will settle down and sodium chloride is formed so hardness the the hardness was due to the presence of chloride of magnesium chloride of magnesium so this will be settled down in the on the bottom so now this water become became soft soft water sodium carbonate is a water soluble salt this sodium chloride is formed here this is water soluble salt crystalline sodium carbonate on keeping listen so crystalline sodium carbonate on heating not keeping heating lost its water of crystallization rapidly see this is sodium carbonate this is water of crystallization number of water of crystallization is 10 so simply if you heat this sodium carbonate this water molecules will be removed okay here you can see here 10 h2o 10 h2o means 10 molecules of water is present but if you heat there will be only h2 is remaining here that is na2co3 h h2o this is white water this white water is called washing soda right <coughs> properties and uses washing soda is whitish 
and colorless powder at room temperature. Litmus has a blue color in its aqueous solution. So actually what happens? Litmus blue becomes Litmus has a blue color on its aqueous solution. It means red litmus paper turns into blue. It means they are lit, uh, uh, washing soda is basic in nature because red litmus paper is turning into blue. That is basic in nature. It is hydroscopic. What is hydroscopic? That is, it absorbs moisture if left exposed to air. Right? They will absorb moisture if you left exposed to air. It is used mainly for washing a clothes. Sodium carbonate is used in the glass and paper industry and also in refining of petrol. In refining of petrol, we also use washing soda. Write down the reaction of sodium carbonate with H2SO4. So sodium carbonate plus H2SO4, it forms sodium sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide gas. Reaction is written here. Some crystalline salts. You have learned about water of crystallization in the previous chapter. We use various salts which contain water of crystallization. So you can see alum that is potash alum the chemical formula is that is k2so4 dot al2 bracket so4 bracket close 3 24 h2o so here what number of water of crystallization is 24 so if you simply hit this alum this water molecules will be removed from here borax na2b4o7 10 h2o so in borax there are 10 molecules of water are present. It means now here number of water of crystallization is 10. Ipsum salt that is magnesium sulfate. There is 7 number, number of water of crystallization is 7. Barium chloride BaCl2 that is 2H2O. Similarly, sodium sulfate that is Na2SO4 10H2O. Collect more information on the properties and uses of substance listed above. So this is the homework for you. You have to find the uses of these all salts. Okay. You have learned that alum is used in the process of water purification. So alum is also used for the purification, purification of water because of property of co coagulation. Why we use alum for the purification of water? The reason is alum has the properties of coagulation. That is a solid impedance in water comes together. It means suppose this is a beaker. There is water. There is some impedance are here. But if you add your alum here. So all the solid impedance which is present in the water. They will attract towards alum. Right? And if they all impedance attracts towards the alum the densities of the density of impedance be, uh, will be more than the density of water and they will be settled down right coagulation the solid impedance in the water comes together becomes he heavy and settled to the bottom right as a result the water above becomes clear so above water will be clear because all the impedance settled down on the surface of bottom on the surface of bottom blue vitriol blue vitriol that is copper sulfate is used in the blood test for the diagnosis anemia so in the diagnosis of anemia we use blue vitriol in a body body ox mixture which is used as a fungicide so body ox mixture is used as a fungicide on fruits like grapes, musk, melon, shit lime. It is shit lime. It is this one. Shit lime is used with blue vitrol. What a detergent. So simply what a detergent. So a substance either in the powder or liquid form. What is detergent? It is a substance either in powder or liquid form used to remove dirt from clothes 
is called detergent right it is long chain of sodium salt of sodium salt of alkyl alkyl hydrogen sulfate right it is the long chain of sodium salt of alkyl uh, alkyl hydrogen sulfate which chemicals and apparatus will you use in the laboratory for making soap so if you, if you want to form soap in the laboratory so which apparatus you will use so you can use sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide as a chemical and round bottom flask burner etc understood so actually oil and sodium hydroxide reacts then it forms sodium salt of carboxylic acid that is called fatty acid this is called soap if oil reacts from sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide it forms sodium salt if you take your potassium hydroxide it will form potassium salt of carboxylic acid this is called fatty acid when oil or animal fat is boiled with aqueous solution of sodium or potassium hydroxide that is written here sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid this fatty acid are form these salts are called soap so these salt are called soap when soap is mixed with a hard water calcium and magnesium salt of fatty acid are form listen when soap when soap is mixed with hard water calcium and magnesium salts of fatty acid are formed soap plus hard water hard water that is insoluble salt of fatty acid are formed this being water insoluble they form a precipitate they form precipitate and they will settle down and that is why leather is not formed because precipitate is formed so that's why leather is not formed some difference between there the bathing soap and washing soap first difference is in this washing soap high grades fats and oils are used as a low uh, raw materials so in this washing soap high grade of fats since we are using high grade of fats or oils so it will be more ex expensive right washing soap low grade fats and oil are used since low grade of fats we are using so its cost will be low as compared to bathing soap useful usually sodium potassium hydroxide is used in the preparation of bathing soap so in this bathing soap generally be use use usually be used potassium ko that is potassium hydroxide but in this case sodium hydroxide is used in the preparation of washing soap right this is more expensive perfume is used in case of washing soap but cheaper perfumes are used okay so students in the next lecture i will explain you radioactive substances okay so one suggestion my uh, i have one suggestion for you before explaining me you have to read your textbook understood you read your textbook then you watch the lecture that will be more beneficial for you okay so till then have a nice day take care thank you